This video is going to show you how to remove the balance wheel from uh, Singer Model 1591s and 201s. They both have the same uh, motor housing. Uh, they just have different bobbin winders. So to start you've got a little thumb screw, or not a thumb screw, a little screw on your release nut. Undo it, not all the way, um, just enough that you can rotate it. Sometimes you need to hold your uh, needle bar in place to break it free. Unscrew it and then we have this piece which has a couple notches. I'll explain that when we go to put it back on. And basically you just remove your bounce wheel, pull it out. Sometimes if it's stuck you'll have, you gotta hold on to your needle bar and just give it a twisting motion to unwind it like that. If you use any solvents, sometimes you get oil build up here and sometimes the old grease turns to wax. If it's waxy, you want to scrape it out and remove it all. But if you use a solvent to loosen up this oil, make sure you wipe it off. Uh, most solvents are not lubricants and uh, can have effects in the, in the long term. So when basically when you go to replace your balance wheel, Again, you want to check here, make sure there's no wax build up, remove all that if it is. Um, and make sure everything's lubricated with the gear lube inside. Um, but putting it back in place, basically just pops right in. And spin it to make sure it's good. Now when you put this piece on, there are two tabs. And these tabs face to the outside. You'll see there's also little um, there's three little buttons on there, and the buttons actually hit this screw. And you just want to make sure it's in the same, the right place, so you have enough play when you undo the release nut that you can use it for winding bobbins. So basically, you just pop it in, screw your thumb wheel screw in for the release knob. And in this case, when I the, you put the screw down, this one I've got no no reverse play. So what you want to do is remove your knob again look to see the positioning of your locking disc and then pull it out and spin it around 180 degrees so halfway around so it repositions the pin so you'll have movement and then just put the, uh, the knob on spin it into place Crank down the screw. You don't need to turn it really hard, just snug. So now I've got plenty of release so I can have free spinning when I'm winding bobbins. And that's all there is to it. 